day, completed it. So today I've had a day off from the gym and a day off from work. So um, tried to catch up with some things that I've been meaning to do for a while, but I've been too busy. One of which was get a new phone. So my contract was running out on my current deal. So I've upgraded to the iPhone 11. There it is, that absolute beauty. So at the moment on my current contract, I'm literally spending like a hundred pounds easily a month on it and it's cracked, it's not even that good, it's the old iPhone, so I thought I'd upgrade but actually end up paying less. So uh, yeah, saving myself a little bit of money there, plus I've got a better phone. So I was also walking by and dropped into Holland and Barrett to get some protein and some protein bars. So these are the grenade white chocolate cookie protein bars, they are amazing. Um, I realized I could have got this online, um, but this was half price, so I thought, Pretty good bargain and it's convenient because it means I now have it and I don't have to wait for delivery. Um, but yeah, I think with protein powder especially, a lot of people just buy it for the sake of having protein powder, um, but they get getting enough protein in their diet alone. So for me personally, um, I need something like protein powder just for convenience because I don't get enough protein in my diet alone. So I literally do treat this as a, supp a supplementation. I do supplement um, my diet with protein powder just so I can get in 30, 40, 50 grams of protein extra a day. So for me, it's a good investment. Uh, for people, like I say, who just buy protein for the sake of buying protein powder, I just think that is a waste of money and it's a little bit stupid. So when I was shopping, I also went to Yo Sushi. Yo Sushi, can never say that. Um, I only had about 500 calories worth of food uh, and it came to like 22 quid. It's definitely not worth it for the price. It tastes amazing, but for 22 quid for like a little bit of sashimi and sushi, it's definitely definitely not worth it. Um, so yeah, did that, got my hair cut. So overall having a good life admin day today. Um, I might be going to the gym just to go and see Sam because he might be coming down and deadlifting, but that's not confirmed yet. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my day for today. Not really doing much. Uh, but tomorrow I am going to a gym called The Gym with my mate Matt, who is a ridiculous lifter. His best deadlift's like 350 kilos. Um, so we're gonna go to that gym and try the safety squat bar there, and he's gonna run through um, basically how to use it because I've never really been properly taught how to use the safety squat bar, uh, and I'm gonna start implementing it into my training. So that should be fun. I'm gonna be doing that nice and early tomorrow. So if I don't see you for the rest of today, I'll see you in the morning. All right. Hello, big man. Bloody fucking, hell. I had a fucking dwarf me back in here. <laughs> you ready to train? Yeah, something like that. Surely. Here we are in the gym. It's officially the coldest gym I've ever been in. Um, just running through the program, so I'm going to start with close grip bench, and then Matt is going to go through the safety squat bar with me because, uh, yeah, although I've used it before, I'm not quite sure I'm doing it right. And you've got a what, 300 kilo safety squat? Yes. Bar squat. So. Yes. <laughs> absolutely freezing the bar it's literally ice cold should have brought hand warmers with me don't know if you can see my breath but it's very chilly Oh, my God. 
right, so that's uh, bench done, just blasted through that, three sets of eight on 100 kilos. Just gonna do a bit of overhead press, also for three sets of eight. Uh, and then we're gonna try and properly safety squat bar squat. What's the best deadlift? 302.5. That's the best deadlift in the gym? No, the best deadlift ever done here was like big lots, 370. Oh, okay. Right, that must be gym members. Do you feel like getting your name on the board? I don't feel like <laughs> buying a membership for the sake of it. <laughs> you do a whip round. All right, time to SSB. Right then. How do I SSB? By no means an expert. No, okay, but you, okay, so, you know a lot more than I do. Right, so, a little bit away from the neck. Okay. okay. Because otherwise it is resting on your neck. Yeah. And you don't want that. Okay. So more of like a high bar position, you'll feel it as soon as you unrack it anyway. Yeah. Up on your traps. Okay. Now, the most important thing to remember is, handles do nothing. Okay. Lats do everything. Okay. So, when you're in position, you pull your lats down. Yeah. Don't pull the handles thing. Oh, okay. so you let go, lats staying, grab the handles. So depress, and, depress your lats. Because that's what sets your upper back. Okay. That's literally protect your armpits. Another way of doing it. And then squat exactly like a high bar squat. Okay. As you drive up, the emphasis is to drive up into the bar as it is in all squats. Yeah. But the emphasis is also to keep everything tight. Okay. So it's very much similar to a high bar squat. Yeah. Uh, and you will want to tip you. Yeah. So you will feel like you're going forward, but I'd still drive up into the bar. Okay. And that's it. Nice. So I, I shared a thing on Instagram recently which said yes. that you so should be, tip the bar now, forward. Now, I'm not saying that the, what that guy was saying was, I, for general populations, mm. that's an injury waiting to happen. Yeah. Because he was saying you basically do this. Yeah, to flex your upper back. Yes, to flex the upper back, which is great for stopping you from rounding. Yeah. Because you're putting yourself in the most precarious position yeah. so that you don't get put in that precarious position. Yeah. For, Linda, 60 years of age, mm. coming into a gym, who this is probably the most mobile they can get into a squat, yeah. that is no good. Yeah. Learning how to tighten their back, keep the handles as is, and squat as if it were, it's basically like a goblet squat, mm. or a double kettlebell squat, it's a very similar movement, which are very, very basic squats, but you can achieve a lot out of them. Cool, right, let's give it a go then. Four. There you go. Feel it on my back, but it's not. It's pressing on my traps. On your traps, yeah. Yeah. That's thing. Before I go any heavier, I need to have a very quick, nervous toilet break. Two hours later. That's tight, very hard. Back. When you're re-racking, yeah. just walk in. Don't look. Don't look. Okay. If you look at one side, the other side won't be in. Okay. So you clang it in both sides. You hear clang clang, and that's how you get hit.
Okay, so it's only taken me six days to go completely rogue on my program and go for a heavy single. Um, hit 190, well it's not 190, it's 187 because the bar actually weighs 17 kilos. Um, so which is a PB on the safety squat bar. Uh, just wanted to sort of test it to see how heavy I could get, but now I'm going to uh, drop down to the back down sets, but I'm going to skip a set just so the volume's not ridiculously high and I don't fatigue myself the next week. So I think about these things. I'm still an idiot though. Sorry Ben. Pretty much wrapping up today's session. Um, just worked up to a reasonably comfortable single on the uh, safety squat bar. It's actually 187 kilos. A um, little bit of bench, a little bit of overhead press, and just loads of accessories. Um, really good gym, loads of good kit. Definitely going to be coming back down here again. Um, just wish it was a bit closer because although I love Hallfield, Hallfield is not as good as a gym as this sort of gym. So it's got all of the equipment that you need if you want to be a powerlifter, crossfitter, weightlifter or a strongman. So ideal really. So just going to do a little stretch and then we're going to be heading home. <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. 272. Yeah. Nice. Right. Oh, good to see you mate. It's good to see you too. Blood clot. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see you um, yeah, next week, probably yeah. up at Horfield. So let's have a little taste test of the gold standard way, white chocolate and raspberry flavour. So, uh, blast off. I mean, it tastes of white chocolate and raspberry, but there's a significant lack of carbohydrates or sugar in it. It just tastes quite artificial, but that's probably because it has got 1.1 grams of carbs per serving and 24 grams of protein per serving so it's not going to taste very sweet but it would do so if any of you are in the southwest of england or the bristol north somerset area definitely recommend going to the gym which is what it's called um, it's a really good gym like i say it caters for all types of lifters so um, it was really nice to get there first thing in the morning this morning because it now means i have the whole day ahead to basically do what i want so i think first of all i'm going to go and watch the football with my uncle 
Go! Shut up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna watch the rugby with Sam. Rugby! Hey. So my day is basically just gonna consist of watching sport and sitting on my ass while I eat food. So the perfect Saturday really. But uh, tomorrow um, I'm gonna be heading down to Tiverton, which is the venue where I did my first ever powerlifting meet because uh, I'm gonna go and support the development um, powerlifting meet that's happening there. Uh, and it'd be nice to go back to the venue where I first started powerlifting. So I'm gonna go and support that. Um, I know a couple of guys that are lifting in it as well, so it's gonna be really good, uh, but that's gonna be in the next video. So I hope you join me on Wednesday for that one. As for now, I'm gonna leave the video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a, a like if you have, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace. Ooh. There is a goal. <laughs> and you're awake for it.